to everyone watching, I say hello. It's J Man Stunner, and now I'm going to be continuing the Yoshi's Added 100% playthrough for the GBA on the Wii U Virtual Console. Let's get right to it. Beware the spinning logs. Sounds like fun. Well, I missed a star right off the bat. Not good. So, throughout this entire level, there's going to be these spinning logs, and when you jump on one that's spinning, it just ricochets you back in any random direction, depending on how you hit it. So, you don't want to risk too much of those. It gets really fun. When I was younger, that always looked like an art to me. So, a little safety blanket there. Um, just so you get used to it. Whoa! I thought he hit me. And fuzzies, just to make it fun. So fuzzies, you can actually shoot anything at them and it destroys them. This is not a level I want to play around on, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed through these guys. Um... I don't want to ground pound too much because um, it might take you out of the game. Sometimes the Game Boy Advance is like, oh, you're off. Super Nintendo 2. Oh, missed those. So the way to get this one is... They want you to throw Yoshi eggs at fuzzies, but you want to try to keep one left. So this is a level that's just constantly giving you stars. It usually does make me worry, like... Is either going to be short and quick, or... Well, actually, that's what I think is going to happen. Whoops! I jumped, or tried to jump after I had taken off, so I did a flutter rather than anything. But luckily, we just hit the middle ring right then and there, so... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, come on. I'm just going to skip that one. Go underneath that. Here comes a chomp rock. Because you need chomp rocks. This game is definitely one to test your reaction time. So I've been playing Sonic Mania, so I think I'm good. This is the most annoying of them all. So you're supposed to actually land back on it. I ended up slipping. But another way to do it, if you are scared, you can just shoot it at it. The chomp rock doesn't have any collision with an item, so... And that's how you're supposed to do it. And a quick level, even with a death. So... Yeah, usually when they give you all the stars in the beginning, um, it's just going to be a quick level. Most of the challenge isn't going to be avoiding anybody, it's just going to be the obstacles and the platforming. So, a quick level, fun level. We just struggle with it. There was that minor, minor, just a lack of a jump that I had in there. But that, was, that wasn't really a struggle, that's just bad gaming. <laughs> Alright guys, so after the short video, I mean short video, after the short level, uh, let's see this one does a little longer. Um, this is one of those levels that has like a weird angle. Um, it's supposed to be viewing it from up front, but the way they make some of these bricks look, it's trying to make it seem like you're looking at it from the top view, kind of. It's kind of like a ledge of Zelda Link Between Worlds, if you guys have played that game. Where they're like, how the characters actually stand is just weird. This is how this is basically right now. Not with the characters, but just with the background. I mean, with the platforming part of it. So if we remember from earlier, we can actually kill these guys by looking away and throwing an egg at the wall. Having a ricochet in them makes them to stars. So don't want to worry about the boo. That's a good way to go. 
Alright, so that's the way to go. So I'm gonna go up here. Of course. Of course it's stars. I go up there, lose the stars, and then I get them back. Not too hard there. Not too hard. I love this game. Um, I would be temp attempt. Uh, I would be tempted to play it again on the SNES Classic. So probably don't need to, but maybe just to see some of the differences. Maybe I'll do a short video about it of the differences in the games. But I'll need some more editing skills. So this room, we bring on the boss from the f first fortress, and he is actually right here. Well, he's not quite as tough as the other one is. So when he wrinkles up like that, you can't actually hit him. So, where'd you go, man? There he goes. So if you ground pound, like I said, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but if you ground pound, it actually causes that ping to start shooting faster. Um, when I was younger, I would clear this first, um, just so that he wouldn't be able to push me in there. But it's not really necessary. There's nothing hidden in there either. So, but if you wanted to have an easy match, that's the way to do it. You just clear those little things out the way and take them on. Then you wake them. So if I hit this, these things become stars, or in my case, coins, because I already have all the stars. So we get the middle ring, which could mean, ooh, I was going to say, oh, there might be a boss door coming up, but not yet. We're not quite there. And this is a bit of a maze. Um, you're going to want to check all the sides here. So I'll go into this tunnel first, but there's like little tunnels with flowers and coins and stuff, so... So that's all we want to do on that one, to get that flower. We're going to take this pipe. And there's two ways to do it, timing it or angling it. <laughs> so there's another flower. Okay, so I think we're at the top of the top, 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 top. So we're going to start heading back down again. So it doesn't matter what pipe you go on, they're still going to take you to the same place. So we're back at where we started at. We're going to look for another pipe that takes us down another level, um, like this one right here. So we're actually one level below. Well, actually, this isn't below. It's, a, it's supposed to be a 3D thing. So nothing here. Oh, I had like a hiccup thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what that was. Okay. So. Oh, wow. We still got another level. So apparently there's five rows here. So this one leaves limited ammo. So what you can do is when you fire one, you can just lick it. And when you do, you can catch it and shoot it again. 
and I just what? Oh, I was gonna say I just barely got him, but he jumped again. So this should give me a key. Okay. So we got the key. Keys down. Key confirmed. All right. So let's go down one more. I thought this was the most bottom, lowest level. So apparently there's five rows here. Um, we're going here. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like some egg spawner, which it is. Nintendo, I love it. So basically that's just in case you have to try again. Um, you just get the eggs again there. And these mouse, Mustafas, Mustafas, will actually steal your eggs, so... I want to say we've been in here. Yeah, this was a long tube, right? Yeah, well, I could... Never mind. I ate the mouse, so... I don't really need more eggs. Alright, so now let's make our way up. So this is one of those other things where it's just like, you want to hit... If I leave this room and come back, it's gonna create, it's gonna fill that back up. So it's one of those rooms where you want to hit or use an egg to do multiple hits, which could be tricky for those individuals who have trouble with angles or aren't really gamers. No! So now if I touch that pipe, the cord comes out because I need the key. So if I wouldn't have had the key, I wouldn't have been able to open that. So here's another one with an angle. And that's all you get in that room. What? So that's basically it. I okay, so that's basically it. Um, we should have cleared the rooms. If not, if we get to the boss fight and I don't have 100%, I might just have to let Yoshi die and then re-pick it up from that middle ring. But I think we got it. So there's the chime for the red coins. I just need one more flower, and if I'm not mistaken, it should be at the end of this ride here. Wow, that was long. Oh no, 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 Yo, Mario, Mario, please. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so that was a long ride followed by a scary ending, so... Let's hit this pipe. Dun, 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 dun. Eek, how did you? You, I never expected you to get so far. E, now it's over. Your game ends here. I like it. All right, so this is actually one of my favorite boss battles. It does remind me of Super Mario Bros. 3. Spoiler alert, after the spoil. Whoa. So basically, he's trying to smash us. He's trying to beat us up. And what is that? So what I want to do is actually find out where he's at, first of all. So my job is to get him into that hole right there, that pit. And that should do it. I was gonna say, what? What am I supposed to do then? So that's basically how you defeat Bowser um, in Super Mario Bros. 3. But it's a lot easier when you have eggs. You can kind of just push them into the hole. But that's 100% right there. Not bad at all. So 
So you guys were halfway through world 6, still 100% in this game. Purple Yoshi, he's my favorite, I love purple, since you guys, you guys didn't know. Um, thank you guys very much for watching, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, there will be a button, probably in the center of the screen somewhere. Um, if you guys haven't tried that Sonic Mania, I'll, hook, I'll put a link on the end card here somewhere, so you guys can check it out. It's really fun actually. And I hope you guys find my playthrough enjoyable. But to those watching, I have to bid farewell now. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.